now we talk about uh, this standard l2 architecture so uh, it divided into few section one is source then etl then json file this the blue color this cloud is the relative cloud is divided into two part customer tenant as well as that data tenant and some part of java utility also there in the right side it can publish those data uh, so downstream can use this so there is a esb layer for getting the data by streaming api and then it can be back to the source system so each component i also show you in hands-on i will be show you how to create a source system uh, i will create some csv file then load it how to uh, looks like a json that also i show you and how call the rest api everything in the component i will be show you in the hands-on in ui also so any source system it can be a structure non-structure you can add here you can do etl also because relto accept only json file but it also allow us it also allow us to create this json file from a csv file from a text file from a database you can do that they all provide some java utility also using that utility we can do that they also provide means reality also provide ui facility using ui you can just click on the select your source you can load the data it have aws azure google platform inbuilt so if you have a source in that particular location maybe s3 bucket databricks google uh, cloud location just provide the location detail and user password it will be help you load the data to the mdm and in the loading of the data it automatically convert the json don't too much think about the json so your json concept is not require as a expertise is help you this team or relative application create you the json i will show you everything in hands on so this is the feature so in talk about the blue color that relative cloud part customer tenant means i already told the entity means table when we talk about table table comes with some field that is in relative terminology is known as attributes data mapping is required because table and entity table is entity and attributes need to be linked with a json file input parameter or you can say source data parameter cleansing also on part of the mdm concept so you can do people loading data it also possible to cleanse it mdm also provides some tool so you can clean that list of values also part of that this can validate it so using java utility also we can do multiple thing push the data get those data because real to one thing is very very important real to mdm do not allow anyone to direct access to their database so no direct access to no sql cache in the database so everything will be streaming api or any published batch mode only so streaming api is a real time and batch mode you can do in batch operation or you can possibly extract data that also possible so i i will be explaining later some some uh, hands-on when i will doing i will be explain that process
so this is the more i can say more closer view I think these are the different type of data is coming from different source so it's structure non-structure you can possible so csv text file excel sheet crm data is here so you can if you want to go for the rest call means it will be real time api call you can use the rest and jtt jstp connector if you think about i need some transformation then go for the etl tool so then create that json file but in case of the rest call you are doing definitely it will be json format only because this hard mdm part is accept only json so how to convert it i will be come later because mdm tool allow you help you to do that thing so this this picture actually show you s3 bucket or as your cloud are using here so that's why it is storage as a uh, bucket for uh, s3 bucket it can be uh, as your it can be google also here it is aws as per picture so here it is showing the right side part that is just downstream so if it is bucket storage contain the all golden record her single version of truth or real to entity id so you need to here from here you need to publish it using streaming that is the real time concept using etl tool we can do that so this is the batch process but everything is possible to using any java coding using third party tool you can sync with them so this is the downstream system so downstream system can be real time via rest call or any file based concept using etl tool this is the another view different type of view for the real to architecture so this is the application ui this is the real to ui means here you can do view everything about the data rdmm ui means relational database means it's a lookup table database means let's say that country is a rdm so if there is a 500 plus countries there their details city state information will be there let's say uh, any any medical related some terminology is predefined is required you can put here so such kind of thing which is used for the lookup purpose that is available using rta ui you can create it view it edit it rel to iq is a is a ai ml concept here put here for quality related part means your data how much quality or decode score is coming it all automatically put inside your data rel to console using console multiple thing can do i will show you tax management is inbox means you if someone assign any tax to you you can really view it in the ui so all those rel to ui rtm iq console tax i will show all those thing in the in the ui everything is connected with the api because rel to it are fully based on the api concept application programming interface and it is the rest api representation state concept are using so rel to is ui is a part of configuration because it rdm is a part of the data api it's a analytics for iq authentication mechanism i already informed that auth to authentication will be used here operation purpose is this tax management means you are someone sending some tax you need to perform uh, approve delete or send back or send someone so search like a google so you can search in rdm you can search in the mdm hub customer data customer also can tell because 
think you have a some source system from there you want to do some rest call real time so you can directly call the customer tenant data search it if it is available so you just uh, get it if you not available you can create it so such kind of information is available uh, regarding this part i will be explain this next session